The largest ships of the U.S. Navy are at the forefront of military technology, and recently they have adopted the latest laser weapons. This revolutionary step opens a new era in the fleet's defense capabilities and provides the U.S. with a significant advantage in military conflicts. In January 2023, the U.S. Navy acquired a pair of high-energy lasers from Lockheed Martin, an experimental platform for $150 million. One of the guns will be tested on land, and the other on an Arleigh Burke-class destroyer. This weapon system could become the world's first operational directed energy laser weapon. The development of this futuristic weapon was largely a response to the deployment of inexpensive attack drones, which are often cheaper than traditional surface-to-air missiles like the Patriot, and are used in large numbers. The laser created by Lockheed Martin reportedly consumes 150 kilowatts of power per shot, making it an ideal weapon for targeting drones and small combat boats. This is particularly concerning for the U.S. Navy in the Strait of Hormuz, where Iran has developed a large number of heavily armed, remotely piloted suicide boats capable of attacking larger U.S. warships. Plans to increase the laser's power to 300 kilowatts in the future will extend its range and provide enough power to intercept approaching missiles. The future plans of the U.S. Navy for war with great power adversaries, namely Iraq, North Korea, Russia and China, largely depend on laser weapons. As Admiral William Moran, the then Deputy Chief of Naval Operations, stated at an industry conference in 2020. Affordable directed energy weapons must be part of our future. If we have to continue to rely on projectiles, we will run out of ways to defend ourselves. Laser weapons are a high-tech system capable of hitting targets at long distances with incredible precision and speed. This weapon can be used for both defense and offense, providing ships with flexibility and effectiveness in various situations. In particular, in 2014, the Navy installed a much less powerful 30-kilowatt laser on board the USS Ponce amphibious ship, although its characteristics were unremarkable. The U.S. Navy has announced plans to integrate a 150-kilowatt laser weapon onto one of its literal combat ships, the USS Little Rock, by the end of 2023. This is in response to growing threats from drones and anti-ship missiles, both for missile defense and offensive roles. The Freedom Class is currently the lightest U.S. military ship equipped with laser weapons and the only stealth-designed ship of the new generation. Various types of laser weapons have previously been installed on the Arleigh Burke-class destroyer USS Dewey and the San Antonio-class amphibious ship USS Portland. Testing of laser weapons on both of these heavier platforms began in 2019. The specific class of laser weapon chosen for installation on the Freedom-class ship remains uncertain, but it has been confirmed that the weapon was developed by Lockheed Martin, the largest American defense contractor. A likely candidate is Lockheed Martin's High Energy Laser and Integrated Optical Dazzler and Surveillance Helios system, which was initially developed as a 60-kilowatt system but has since undergone power increase efforts. Helios is one of two confirmed laser systems being developed for the Navy, with the other being the Ruggedized High Energy Laser RHEL, which is currently not planned for at-sea testing. The race among major powers to develop more advanced laser weapons is happening in parallel with the race for supremacy in hypersonic weapons, electromagnetic railguns, electronic warfare, and other areas that are expected to be crucial in future naval conflicts. It is expected that by the end of the decade, more powerful, mass-produced lasers will be installed on Arleigh Burke-class destroyers and then on next-generation warships such as the Zumwalt-class for combat use. The advantages of laser weapons include their speed and accuracy. The laser can instantly target and strike a target with a high degree of confidence. Additionally, lasers do not require a large amount of ammunition and have an infinite supply, making them economically advantageous and sustainable in long-term operations. The economic efficiency of laser weapons compared to expensive interceptor missiles is a key factor that has prompted further investment in their development. According to Ronald O'Rourke's report, a military expert at the Congressional Research Service. In combat scenarios against a country like China, which has many UAVs and anti-ship missiles, as well as the ability to build or acquire even more, the unfavorable cost ratio can become a very expensive and potentially unattainable approach to protecting surface ships of the Navy.
China has already demonstrated success in moving away from gunpowder-based weapons, particularly by conducting tests of electromagnetic railguns at sea. Although the U.S. has made every effort to develop its own railgun technology, successful tests of laser weapons have become an important step towards maintaining parity with China's growing capabilities. This laser weapon is installed on ships of various classes, including aircraft carriers, destroyers, and cruisers. It complements existing weapon systems and enhances the defensive capabilities of the fleet. Additionally, lasers can be used to counter air and sea attacks, making them an important element of missile defense. This move by the U.S. in the field of laser weapons underscores their commitment to innovation and strengthening their defense. He also sends a clear message to potential adversaries about the high readiness of the United States to defend its interests and ensure peace and stability in the region and around the world. The U.S. Navy expects to have a total of eight warships equipped with the Optical Dazzling Interdictor Navy or ODIN laser energy weapon system over the next three years. One Arleigh Burke-class destroyer, USS Dewey, is already equipped with the ODIN system. Over the past five to seven years, we have been working diligently to bring directed energy in a meaningful sense to the fighter and operational communities, while also developing the technology," explained Peterkin. ODIN is one of several types of laser-directed energy weapons that the Navy is currently developing as part of the larger Navy Laser Family of Systems (NLFOS). While the service plans to field many of these systems, it also expects them to serve as a stepping stone to more powerful laser weapons in the future. Although its exact power class is unclear, ODIN is equipped with a relatively low-power laser and is designed to dazzle electro-optical and infrared optics. It can be used to confuse optical or infrared guidance systems of approaching weapons, such as anti-ship cruise missiles, and divert them off course. It can also neutralize cameras used for intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance ISR, purposes on other ships, manned aircraft, and drones. The Navy has actually publicly stated that an urgent request from the U.S. Pacific Command for a way to protect its ships from prying eyes of potential adversaries was the driving force behind the installation of the first Odin on the Dewey. The commander of the Pacific Fleet identified this urgent need for counterintelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance, and the Chief of Naval Operations directed us to meet it as quickly as possible," said Commander David Wolfe, head of the Directed Energy Office at the Program Executive Office. It is worth noting that in February, an official post appeared on the Navy's Instagram account, warning Chinese military that, you don't want to play laser tag with us. This followed a statement from the service that in the same month, a People's Liberation Army Navy destroyer aimed a laser beam at one of its P-8A Poseidon Maritime Patrol aircraft in the Philippine Sea. This is just one in a series of messages about the People's Liberation Army forces directing lasers in potentially dangerous ways at U.S. military aircraft, as well as aircraft belonging to American allies in the Pacific region and elsewhere. Iran also regularly uses unmanned aerial vehicles to monitor U.S. Navy ships, including amphibious assault ships and aircraft carriers, in the Persian Gulf, the Gulf of Oman, and the Strait of Hormuz, which connects these two bodies of water. Odin could be a useful addition to the service ship operating specifically in these areas. As previously mentioned, Odin is just one of the new types of laser-guided weapons that the Navy is currently working on. In May, the service announced that the San Antonio-class amphibious platform was being docked with the USS Portland aircraft carrier and successfully tested its own new laser weapon system demonstrator, the MK-2 Mod Zero LWSD, a much more powerful 150-kilowatt-class design, effectively shooting down a small drone during the trials. Northrop Grumman developed the MK-2 Mod Zero as part of the Solid State Laser Technology Maturation SSLTM program. The Navy has not specified exactly which additional ships it wants to arm with any of these systems, but in the past, it has expressed interest in integrating them onto more Arleigh Burke-class destroyers as well as coastal combat ships. There is a clear desire to add similar directed energy capabilities to a wide range of other ships. Furthermore, the Navy's plan to deploy more Odin systems and other laser weapons only highlights the progress these services have continued to achieve in the field of directed energy, while other services have experienced failures in their own efforts. Currently, 
The deployment of Navy ships armed with laser weapon systems seems to be becoming a more normal occurrence. We appreciate that you watched until the end. Subscribe to our channel and see you next time.